Hello everyone, this is Gary Gravidor, and welcome to my channel, The American from Dabao. Please stick around for another wonderful, exciting, and awesome episode made just for you. Hello again, everybody, and thank you very much for tuning in. If you're new to this channel, then please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons below, as well as the notification bell, so you don't miss any of the future episodes and activities here. Also, please don't forget to comment and share when you're done viewing this episode. Well, guess what, everybody? We are right here at one of the most expensive streets in the whole world. This is New York City's Fifth Avenue. Welcome to the exciting New York City's 5th Avenue, considered one of the most expensive and elegant streets in the world. Harry Winston, Vempe, Prada, Mickey Motto, Salvatore Ferragamo, Cartier, Louis Vuitton, and many other signature brand stores are all located here on 5th Avenue. It is a major road here in Manhattan. It stretches north from Washington Square Park in Greenwich Village to West 143rd Street in Harlem. Fifth Avenue used to be a narrow road. It was only in 1908 that the city decided to widen the south section of Central Park. The midtown blocks between 34th and 59th Streets were largely a residential area until the turn of the 20th century when these blocks were developed as commercial areas. The section of 5th Avenue in the 50s is consistently ranked among the most expensive shopping streets in the world. This is the famous and iconic Plaza Hotel, a 20-story luxury hotel and condominium apartment building which opened in 1907 and is now owned by Katara Hospitality, formerly known as Qatar National Hotels Company, the largest hotel owner, developer, and operator in Qatar. The construction of this hotel began in 1883, and it was a 19-story French Renaissance-inspired chateau-style building designed by Henry Janeway Hardenberg. It was built in 27 months that finally opened in 1907. The Plaza Hotel became a designated New York City landmark in 1969 and was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1978 and was made a National Historic Landmark in 1986. This is Tiffany & Company, an American luxury jewelry and specialty retailer that was founded in 1837 by the jeweler Charles Louis Tiffany and became famous in the early 20th century under the artistic direction of his son, Louis Comfort Tiffany. Currently, Tiffany's has 326 locations worldwide. This is the famous Trump Tower, a 58-floor, 664-foot-tall mixed-use skyscraper owned by the 45th American President Donald Trump, who's also a businessman and real estate developer.
This building was built in the 1870s by Charles Duggan. This five-story townhouse is home to the exclusive Harry Winston flagship jewelry boutique. The building, located on the southeast corner of 5th Avenue and 56th Street, has undergone several facade renovations, including a late Art Deco sculptured limestone and glass facade that was completed in 1937 and an 18th century French style facade with travertine and picture windows by architect Jacques Reynaud in 1960. Today, Harry Winston Building offers a unique and elegant retail presence on 5th Avenue, ideally located among 5th Avenue's most prestigious retailers. This is St. Patrick's Cathedral, a decorated neo-Gothic Catholic cathedral that was designed by architect James Renwick Jr. and was built in 1879. It is the seat of the Archbishop of the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of New York as well as a parish church. Currently, Timothy Michael Cardinal Dolan is the Archbishop of St. Patrick's Cathedral since April 15, 2009. This is the Philippine Center, an agency of the Philippine government in the United States, which houses the offices of the Philippine Mission to the UN, the Philippine Consulate General, the Philippine Department of Trade and Industry, and the Philippine Department of Tourism. The Philippine Center Management manages this building and its properties. It is committed to nurture, promote, and propagate Philippine culture, encourage foreign tourists to visit the Philippines, and expand foreign markets of Philippine products and enhance the image of the Philippines. This building was established in 1973 by the then President Ferdinand Marcos based on his presidential decree number 188 with the aim of integrating and coordinating activities of the Philippine government offices here in the United States. Meanwhile, this is the New York Public Library, the second largest public library in the United States behind the Library of Congress and the third largest in the world behind the British Library. It is a public library system here in New York City with over 53 million items and 92 locations. The Stephen A. Schwartzman Building is the flagship building in the New York Public Library system and a landmark here in Midtown Manhattan. This is the St. Thomas Church, an Episcopal parish church that was designed by architects Ralph Adams Cram and Bertram Grosvenor Goodhue in the French High Gothic Revival style. The church was started in January 1824 and was completed in 1914. It is home to the St. Thomas Choir of Men and Boys, a choral ensemble comprising men and boys which performs music of the Anglican tradition at worship services and offers a full concert series during the course of the year. However, right now, because of the pandemic, the church is still closed. On the next episode, we will discuss about Millionaire's Row, the Museum Mile, and Central Park.